Yo what is up everybody welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to show you guys how you can fix that you are not able to type in the windows search bar. So let's get right into the video. Okay so the first thing that you can do is go ahead and check if you have any pending windows updates. You can do that by going over onto this windows icon, click on settings, then click on update and security. Make sure you are on windows update and then look if you have any pending uh, windows updates. In my case I have two so a pending download and a pending install. Make sure to click on install now and make sure any update is finished. Reboot your PC and see if you have any new updates. If you have any new available updates install them and just go through this process until you have no more updates left and then look whether it is fixed or not if that problem still didn't fix it what you can do is uninstall any windows update so how you can do that is click on view update history then click on uninstall updates then this window will pop up and it will show you any windows update that you've recently installed then what you want to do is usually install the latest update for windows microsoft this one in my case i have this one so just right click on it and click on uninstall look whether it is fixed or not if it still isn't fixed after you've done this i recommend installing the update once again you can do it by just going over here and check for any updates and so if that didn't fix it don't worry there's still plenty more fixes so let's get right into the next next fix okay so another way to fix your problem is by going over onto the search bar type in cmd and then click on run as administrator then you want to go ahead and paste the following line it will be provided in the description click enter once you've done that you want to go ahead and copy the line from the description and paste it over here and then click enter okay this process may take a while but just leave it until it is done and if you have any of these red notes over here, it doesn't matter, just leave it. And once this is done, you can close out of this. And what you want to do is see whether it is fixed or not. If it's still not fixed, just reboot your PC and try again. And if it's still not fixed after rebooting, you can try the following method. Okay, so before we continue with this video, as you guys can see, only 0.5% of you guys is subscribed to my channel. So if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Texplane, and on this channel, you can find awesome Windows tips and tricks and videos on how to fix almost any problem in Windows. So if you like that kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. So let's continue with the video. Okay, so what you want to do now is click Windows and X at the same time. This little window will pop up and then you want to go ahead and click on Run. Then you want to go ahead and type in the following line. It will also be provided into the description. Once you've typed this in, you want to click OK. And usually nothing will happen, but you want to just wait 5 seconds and then try and see whether it is fixed or not and if you still cannot type um there's one more fix so let's get right into that fix right now okay so for the last method you want to go ahead and open up powershell you can do that by clicking windows and x at the same time then click on windows powershell powershell administrator then you want to copy and paste the following line from the description and once you've pasted it click on enter this should not take a while and if it's finished Go ahead and see whether it is fixed or not. And if you get a message saying that it did not find um, the specific thing we typed, then what you want to do is close out of this and open CMD as administrator. And then type in SFC space slash scan now. This will scan your windows for any corrupt files. This might take a while, so just leave it there until it's fully done. And if you have an error uh, saying that you have something missing, go ahead and look it up on Google on a download for it or how to fix that because it can be different for everyone. So I'm not going to be covering every single issue that you can have over here. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please consider subscribing and liking this video. If it wasn't helpful, comment down below and tell me what you're issue was and if it was helpful comment down below and let me know if it fixed and what method method fixed your problem so see you guys in the next video peace out